Yeah, as uh, Bruce says, I'm, um, um, I've come from Singapore. I'm uh, very experienced in uh, salvage operations. Uh, I do them quite regularly. Um, I just want to stress that you've got uh, one of the best, actually the best salvage team uh, to possibly get internationally to deal with this particular operation. It's a very complex operation, and they are using their resources globally, in particular from Australia and Holland and Singapore. They're flying equipment uh, in for both Australia and, and Holland and personnel from various areas. These, these personnel that they're flying in are very, very experienced guys. They've been on a lot of salvage operations. They know what they're doing. I've worked with these people before and they are the best. So you've got a very competent team coming out here to deal with this particular operation. As I said, it's a very, very complex operation that requires a lot of assessment because the vessel is in a, a situation which is quite unique. The forward end of the vessel is very hard to ground. Uh, from a midship's aft, the after end of the vessel is actually floating free. So it is important that the, uh, the vessel's strength and stability is assessed accurately. Teams of naval architects have been mobilized. I've, I'm bringing one of my naval architects out Switzer have got a team of naval architects both in Holland and out here to deal with this particular operation. They are on board at the moment and they are assessing the strength and stability of the ship. However, the key priority is avoiding any leakage of oil. As you've heard, Switzer have mobilized a, uh, a jet from Australia, which is arriving today with pumping equipment transferred out to the ship to start the pumping operation to try to get this to get this oil off the vessel. They'll be using a local uh, uh, tanker barge which will be moored off the stern of the vessel. They will be uh, pumping oil from the vessel to this barge. As I say, it's a very complex operation at the moment. And we need to assess how we can do this safely. There are teams of people on board the ship doing this now. We are hopeful that we may start pumping tomorrow evening. This all depends upon various factors, complex factors, such as the weather, the state of the ship, the damage to the ship. The forward end of the ship, as I said, is, is fully aground. The uh, damage, the double bottoms are crushed down and damaged. It's difficult to assess what is the damage to the they are currently doing that now. But as I say, the key priority is to get the oil off the vessel. You will see from the photographs that the vessel is uh, listing over about 11 degrees. That makes it very difficult, as you can well imagine, to walk around the vessel and handle equipment on this vessel. The equipment will be flown to the vessel. You will notice, from, sorry, from the photographs in the newspapers, the vessel has no cranes. So equipment has to be flown out, the salvage equipment has to be flown out by helicopter, heavy lift helicopter. You'll also notice that the, de the decks are covered with containers. There are very few areas where you can land this equipment. So they have to find an area where they can carefully land the equipment and hand move it around the, this deck to try to get it into the location they need to get it into. That operation should start tomorrow when the equipment arrives. Once they've got the equipment on board, as I say, the first equipment they've mobilized is the pumping pumps and the hoses. And they are focusing on getting the oil off the vessel. That is the priority of the moment. They are also assessing how to refloat this vessel. As you will have seen, it is difficult. We need to remove a lot of weight off the vessel to refloat it. As you can imagine, the weight is in the containers, the cargo, and it is difficult with an 11, an 11 degree list to try to remove those containers. <coughs> and they are formulating plans on how to get these containers off the vessel. This operation is a complex one, a very complex one. But to summarise, you've got the best team. 